Good morning. We're, welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. We're going to tie a uh, McKinsey Caddis this morning. Uh, I've got a 3761 TMC here. Um, I'm going to use a little black Vivas thread, lay down a decent base here. The uh, first thing we use is um, some chewy skin in Caddis Green, uh, kind of a neat product. These are UV reflective. Um, they have a pearlescent sheen on the outside. I'm going to tie this in up near the head and just pull it tight. Not real tight. You can stretch this stuff to the point where it will break. I'm going to run it back a little further than normal onto the bend of the hook. Now if you want to weight this fly down and really kind of get it down deep and then do the, the uh, caddis crawl as you lift it off the bottom, um, you can do that by putting some lead under this. When you wrap this material it's important to note, I'm just kind of loosely laying this and I'm building a rather thick little body, but I'm overlapping it by about half on each wrap and that gives the segmentation and then I'll pull this snug. But that's just sticky enough that it, it really lays nicely when you do that. It does. Of sliding like D-Rib or something. It things. does and it's um, it sticks to itself a bit yeah. so it's not going to move. Now you'd say, well, I need to put a rib on that or or um, make it a little tougher, but you really don't have to. Um, next, we're going to use our petagene tool. I'm going to lay in a uh, partridge feather, and I'm going to lay in a CDC feather. I generally will snip these off here at the base. I'm going to lay that in there. I'm going to try to lay it in there. So partridge and CDC lined up. And then I'm going to lay a little hair's ear dubbing. I like uh, a gray hair's ear. Now you can get the full mask or you can buy and grind it yourself in your coffee grinder, which is what I like to do because I like a lot of guard hairs in mine. Or you can buy the uh, pre-packaged stuff, which works fine. And then when you, when you use your petagene tool, I like to take just some monofilament and I'll lay that on the top here and just push straight down and get it in. And the monofilament slides right out of the tool. So now I've got the tool loaded with the material and it's sticking up. I'm going to grab it with the clamp here and it comes out and it's holding it. And I will trim away this stem and leave this material sticking out and then I'll put it in a dubbing loop. So take your scissors okay so that is all ready to be spun in my dubbing loop set that aside, make my dubbing loop up here. Good to use wax. Gotta have some wax to make your material stick in there. This here is um, BT's dubbing wax and I like it in the tacky. I'm going to use my dubbing whirler here from Hairline. I'm going to lay this material in the loop Pull the loop tight, let go, and I'll adjust it a little bit here. You can do that. And then I will spin my tool. It'll make my thorax for this fly. Okay. So the end result is a very buggy mix of CDC, partridge, and dub and dubbing. Oops. Let me fix this. So what I have here is a thorax of CDC, dubbing, and partridge. I'm just going to wrap this around. Now the CDC will have some fibers that kind of 
stick out and hang back behind and I really you know the initially CDC is gonna float real well and be pretty buoyant but if you um, take it and just rub it with your fingers in a little water if you want to fish this under the surface film it'll lay down so I've got my thorax there next I've got some um, deer hair and you could fish that just like it is oh you could absolutely absolutely I mean it's if you want to run this off of a, a nymph rig you're gonna get that caddis bubble you know they create a bubble to emerge and that CDC adds air bubbles into the fly so I've taken and stacked my deer hair and I don't want to use a lot you know this is a wet fly and this is only going to come back to about halfway the body it's supposed to look like a, a budding wing and I'll make a few wraps here pull straight down I'm using pretty light thread here and I'll kind of keep that in position a few more wraps to get it snug down and then I'm going to just take all this and trim it off and then I'll just clean this head up a little bit with thread it's okay to have a decent sized head on these I mean if you look at this bug in the water he's got kind of a little black portion of the up near the head so I, I build these heads up on these flies I want them to have kind of a big head and then I put a really glossy finish on them so to cap it off you can fish this dry or wet you can swing it you can sink it and lift it it all catches fish this time of year when those Mackenzie caddis start popping and there's your Mackenzie wet with the chewy skin <laughs>